Welcome back to part eight of the Alpha Mini Restoration. This is just a few shots of coming up to the present day from when we began this little journey. Just to remind us how bad it was and what we've got up to and where we're going from here. Stick with it. Now last time we'd sort of got most of the inner chassis legs cleaned up and the uh, the bulkhead rubbed down a little bit. So this time we're attacking the driver's side inner arches the outside of that chassis leg and then the same the other side so we just drop this bit in see how it fits now it fits a lot better now near enough in the right place a bit of cleaning up but it's, it's not structural or anything it's just just like an end piece there's not even it was all full of full of sealant in there and down there especially yeah get in there now I've done a bit more with the finger sander in there. Can't really see, but got right in. Gone round this. Had to get, <laughs> lose my plastic uh, in a wing splash guard thing. No one somewhere else. I've got to pull that and grum it out. I've gone over these ones with the finger grinder just to get the rust out of the spot welds. Gotta get all into there, yeah. Up that way. All those bits I've only had just a quick going over. And we can get at it with the acid. So here's what we did last week. The acid, some of it, look, it's still not dried yet. But it's uh, it's not letting it rust, is it? Considering it's been sat all week. Same with that side. Nothing yet. So yeah, it's coming up all right. Still got this. Uh, Still got this one to attack yet. See that's all right in there, look. Just a bit of surface. No bother. That'll clean up all right. Same in there, all clean up. It'll all clean up all right. Now a couple of people in the comments have said this is the most unloved Alpha 159 ever. It might be, it might be, yeah, could be right. But I'm loving it now. Look at it, I'm loving it. This is me loving it. It's gonna be like new in here. And then in another 11 years time, it's still gonna be like new, because I'm gonna go a bit overboard with it. So it'll go from one of the most unloved, 159s, to one of the better ones. I won't say best, but you know. There's always somebody that does more, isn't there? So yeah. Let's get in there. I wonder what that number means. It looks like it uh, looks like it'll come off. So that's alright. There's even a number in there a lot. But yeah, we've just ticked over 
to 300 subscribers. I mean, that's like a drop in the ocean to some people, but you know, to me, it means a lot. I just want to thank you all for coming. Keeps me motivated. Really does. Well, it did come off. Look at that, look. Got some rust behind it. It's a good job I took that off. Right. I'm going to attack that now. And that bit. So I'm going to go at that bit. A lot better. Get in there every time. I have a new swing at it. Just gotta try and get in there, that's the next bit. And this piece here. Let's see how we're gonna do with that bit. So now I've got into this bit, up inside the turret. Clean all that up. And then you want to attack it with some of that, uh, some of that strong acid. Let's give that a go. I'll just clean this up again. That's lovely and smooth now. That real nice. All down <laughs> bare metal under there a little bit. I'm gonna carry on with that and go across there. I think I'm going to have to do this bit as well. So what I'm seeing is the closer you look, the more things you see. Like, like this here. You would, would you bother with that? But, you know, I, I feel I need to. Because if I, you know, if that's left or painted over, it's it's not going to be long before it's rusting. All these areas. Look at this. What a waste of space that is in there. Where does it even go? Let's have a look. Let's get the light on the job. See? Rusty captive nuts up there. paint in there as well look. some good little nuggets here look this a bit of weld obviously when they've when they've welded that up but all these little bits in here look they there's a little trap in there for moisture and, and rust Lost it. And there we go. And this big, there's a big blob of sealant there. I reckon that should have gone here for this seam, and, and then it's just ended up there where there is no. There's nothing there. There's nothing behind that. Do these little areas here. I mean, oh, don't even get me started about all in there. <laughs> Captive nut for the mount. So we've got a bit more cleaning up to do. I mean, it leaves it kind of a bit rough feeling but then you go over it again and it's nice and smooth ready for that epoxy primer what's going on with this better but yeah it's just a laborious job so uh... look at this look
I mean, I'm not one for OCD or anything, but you know, I think you really could. You really could get carried away. I mean, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe, I, maybe I should just keep going with it. Yeah. <laughs> Till it's all bare metal and ready to paint. I'll keep going. Okay, I've removed that blob. As expected, as suspected, there's nothing underneath it. It definitely should have been here. I reckon. Um, this isn't very good. It's rubber. There's rubber in there. Or maybe it's some kind of glue. Maybe they glued these panels together as well. I don't know why they would do that when they're... Clearly... Welded. I mean, they're not great though. It's not... It's not fantastic work. They're spot welds. It makes hell of a mess though when you... this again anyway. I think I'll go perhaps up to up to here. We're taking it right back. I'm going to get in there then. maybe maybe around this area. But yeah. But this is the main the main chassis leg that's gonna cause any problems in the future. Well, in now. But if you leave these without doing anything like this, in another five, ten years, they're just going to be rotten. Well, there'll be a few left. Hopefully this is one of them. Now I know I'm only doing the engine bay for now, but I've made a start on this area here, where it goes from that chassis leg underneath and down, and it does get pretty rusty down here. I've also got to draw the line. I've got to draw the line somewhere. It's probably going to be that axle stand. You know, as good as a place as any, isn't it? But this needs. I can't leave that, can I? I can't. I just can't. I can't do it. So I can do. I reckon I'm going to do up to there. Because you know that's technically still like uh, part of the engine bay, isn't it? got in there yet this side I mean, it, it, it's, there's rust there's rust in there so you know that's mostly it's not good enough if it's not right it's wrong I thought my leg was hurting. Oh. I found a bit of a grommet. Little. Bit of tiger seal. Find another one for that side there. Well, the other side, the silicon, there was a uh, silicon, there was sealant down here. I'm sure there was. We've got a great big blob there, which possibly, well, I don't know, we'll have that off. We'll have all this off and have a look what's underneath that so there's this there's the seam 
and the majority of the assailant was here and only that little bit there so you hear about these Friday afternoon production cars don't you but I mean it must be a robot that's that's put the assailant on but you know it's gone up there and then gone ah I can't be bothered to do that bit you know, all there. I mean, it would have really benefited from a load of sealant on that. You know what I mean? All these seams. Really needed it. And they just put it where the water's going to probably get it the most. Being tight, that's what they were. Okay, so I took all the rest of that off there. That's all clean now. If you look at where it's darker, around here, and all these little dark spots, this is where the, the coatings failed. And where it was, it hadn't started yet, but it was about to start rusting. All these little dark spots. Especially under there. This was all going to start rusting. Be, these would be like stone chips, and that's just where it's just took the paint off, damaged the paint, cracked it. A matter of time before that would be a rotten panel. Now it's going to be like new. I'm getting a lot of bits coming off this. They don't look very big. But it hurts when it sticks in your leg. I'll tell you that. So this is the next little bit. You can see all the dark patches in this. You can see where the rust is. You can see where the rust is has settled. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. This needs sorting. It's alright saying mine ain't got no rust on it. But it will be when you can't see it. Taking the other side wing off. She had me 30 torx bit in the bolt, so I had to cut two sleeves on it, and then you can use it like a, uh, a pair of mole grips on it or something. Get them out. Nightmare. Well, we've gone up there now, all the way up to the top, and we've gone across there, and we've got down this bit. And a little bit up to that. So I've just now got to get into here, and in there, and down that seam and then everything else. <laughs> getting there though. Getting there, that's where those two rusty captive nuts were on the other side of that wasted space. Get straight into the cab from there. Anyway, I'm just going over the driver's side again with um, one of these aggressive pads it's getting it's quite aggressive but uh, it takes everything off 
Turns everything off. Quite like that. Yeah. Oh, this is laborious task, this. <laughs>